Well, how do that, chums? I just realised you can't hear me yet just then, could you? Here we go. That was me on the harmonica, I know. Treat for the ear holes. Right, anyway, people, I'm going to be hitting up the expedition again. I'm going to be rerunning the expedition. Why am I going to be rerunning the expedition? You're probably wondering. To get the other head. I've got the Atlas one. Now I want to get the other one, the weird purpley type looking one. Right, so let's jump on over into game, people in the viewer verse. Boom! Right now, so here I am over in game, so I'm just going to hit play game and to run and get the second head, what I'm going to do is just go down to here, new game, and I'm going to be hitting up this one. You can see there that there's four weeks remaining, so why the fudge not? Now, ah, I'm going to do this as quickly as I possibly can, people. I'm probably going to reconvene with you once I actually get it. But I'm probably going to record all the bits in between and just give you my um, best bits. So pre be prepared for the best bits of Captain Steve's adventure for the second time on the way to get an Atlantean head. Sweet. Until I see you in a moment. Take care. Oh, would you look at this? I'm not a Viking. I'm a freaking Corvax. That's pretty darn sweet. And I've been given a different multi-tool this time. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. Right, well, what I'm going to be doing differently this time is I'm going to be stowing this away inside of my exosuit, my um, the terrain manipulator. And the reason I'm doing that is because as soon as we go over to the camp, which is right here, yeah, and um, yeah, another thing that I didn't do before is when you hit this mission up, all you need to do is scan, just press L3, bang, and that should scan the camp or whatever, and hopefully that's going to start um, the actual mission, which I, before I sort of bumbled around for a while, didn't I? But there we go. Let's just pick up all this scrap anyway. We'll go and talk to this little phage over here. Hello there, mate. Sweet. And we'll go and sort out his um, problematic code. Chikapow. Lovely jubbly. So that's three, nine, three, nine, and fifteen. Three, nine, fifteen. Three, nine, fifteen. Okay. Three, nine, fifteen. Sweet. Attempt memory repair. Three. And nine. And fifteen. Boom. And if I remember rightly, that's different to the first time I played through, isn't it? So there we go. Done, delete, done. Memory dump of contents. Sweet. Sweet. And done. Got to go. Navigational coordinates given. There we go. We here as as done. And you can see there, there's two like little numbers 57 65 they convert the hexes heck yes so yeah done that one but now i want to unlock that cabinet and get the multi-tool out of there so i'm just going to go and hit on up this lovely jubbly and it's the same sort of math code people so you go into the second option chicka boom seven plus two is nine nine plus six is fifteen nine sixteen and seven minus three is four so what was that nine fifteen Four. Nine, fifteen, four. Nine, fifteen, four. Nine, fifteen, four. Nine, fifteen, four. Here we go. And nine, fifteen, and four. Chikapow. Four. Done. And I can unlock the multi tool. There it goes. Boom. Done, done, done. Let's go grab that then. Sweet. Now, a lot of people said to me, Captain Steve, you should have gone and got yourself that Sentinel ship at the freaking start, mate. So I might go and do that. Um, right. So other things that they told me that I didn't do in my last playthrough as well is go to the multi-tool, install the this into the multi-tool. Boom. We've got our terrain manipulator. Now, you've got this here, which is the hijacked laser. But apparently, if you just install this next to it, or is it that one? That one next to it, which is just some ferrite dust, it makes it super powerful. So let's go get some ferrite dust and let's do that, shall we? Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Okay, that's not giving me some rusted metal. All right, well, where's a rock? I need to find a freaking rock. There's some rocks over there. Uh, ba -dum -dum -dum. There was probably some rocks right by me, wasn't there? All right. Rock into oblivion, I guess. And you, rock, boom, boom. Lots and lots of rocks. Let's get that ferrite dust. I need 60 ferrite dusts. Come on, I want the ferrite. Give me the ferrite. Boom. One more rock, that should do the trick. Lovely jubbly, we're done. So if I now up that, 
my multi tool shouldn't overheat as quickly. Let's give that a go then. Oh yeah, look, it's moving super slow. Oh my days, that is such an awesome freaking tip. And there is also the advanced mining laser that we can put in here as well. I need to repair some slots. I don't think I've got three next to each other. But there's that one which I'm not going to get the wiring looms until I'm up in the station. So I might as well hold on to that one. But that is not an awesome starting tip. There you go, people. There's one of my best bits for you. I reconvene when I've got some more. Okay, well, I'm right by my ship before takeoff, and there's a, like um, a depot here, and it was being protected by corrupted sentinels. I, I killed three corrupted sentinels, but then normal sentinels showed up. So it doesn't feel like these planets are just inhabited by the corrupted kind of sentinel, which means it's still a little bit bugged out, people, despite the latest patches and a bit of a heads up. So yeah, I wouldn't bother tangling with the sentinels earlier than you need to and come across them on maybe another planet further on. Well chums, I spent a little bit of time earning some units to buy some wiring looms and I've installed the advanced mining lasser. Heck yes I have, so now I can take out radiant shards and all that sort of shenanigans so perhaps get all the radiant shards I need before I even leave the first system. I know it's a later phase but there we go. Well chums, this is a little weird. I've flown over to this crashed ship, okay, and there's an actual pilot here, which isn't a Sentinel pilot, it's a Corvaxian. When I talk to this Corvaxian, uh, if I make an offer on the life form ship and hit negotiate price, he offers it for me for free. But that's not always a thing. It wasn't the first time I came round to do this, but for whatever reason, yeah, I'll have it, mate. Thank you. All right. It still looks like it's a little bit broken, but apparently not. It seems okay. All right, well, that's um different, isn't it? All right, fine. Well, I've got my own ship in close proximity. I landed my own ship just right by here. Where, where, where's my other ship? There it is. Right, well, I'm going to unpackage the stuff that I've put into this ship and put it into my sentinelized ship, because why the fudge not? Okay, maybe they've changed this up, but um, yeah, I'm taking that out. Um, I can't take that out, can't take that out. I can take out... Oh, the warp fuel isn't fueled. Can I take that out? I want to take that out. I don't think... I No, you can't take that out. I think that's the only thing. Oh, and that's... Yep, yeah, the satellite dish. Why can't I... Yeah, there we go. Boom. There we go. We've got that. So yeah, that's the only things I can take out. Cool. Yep. Yeah, lovely. Brilliant. All right, we'll jump out of there and go back to my sentinel, sh sentinel ship that I just got for freaking free. I don't know how that happened, but it did. <laughs> Hopefully it happens for you guys in the viewer verse. All right, well, um, there we go. Oh, did I, I put it in the starship bloody inventory? Not for fudge sake. Okay, right, well, I'm just going to run back to the ship and go put it into the right freaking storage. Come on. Into there. Bum, bum, bum. And into here, take that out of there, put it in my exosuit, put it in my exosuit. Might as well take all this as well. Budget, must remove everything out of there. Thank you very much. Indeedy doody, definitely need that. Definitely need this. That. It'd be nice if there was a transfer all button, wouldn't it? But there we go, done. Now I can jump out of here. Run back to my other ship. Cool. Yeah, there's still some sort of inventory sort of hang-ups, isn't there, really, I suppose. It's like an auto-sort feature. I'd love to have an auto-sort feature as well. All right. Okay, it's not letting me stick that in. Mm, that was a waste of time, then. What about the other one, then, this? Can I put that in there? Yes, I can. Boom. Actually, it's greyed out. It looks like you can't, but I wonder if you can. No. Aeron Proton rejects alien technology. Doesn't like it, mate. Freaking doesn't like it. All right, well, I like the rockets. The rockets can go down there. And um, what else can I... I could boost something, I suppose, couldn't I? What's this, then? Is that, that's a warp cell. All right, well, let's do that there for now, then. And I'm going to have to refuel it, sadly. Uh, yeah, that's one thing that I missed out on, was the fuel. I'll stick that in there for now. We'll just boost the freaking rockets, mate. <laughs> Lovely. All right, cool. Well, that's that's that pretty much done then. Sweet. Another little tip for you. Check the Sentinel ship in the first system. You might get it for free. 
Oh man, once you get your sentinel ship, you can just hover in place and you can just shoot the planet and get shed loads of resources before you go anywhere. The sentinel ship is just freaking awesome for just resource gathering. <laughs> Come on, cause this! Uh, yeah, I, I want all that additional carbon there, mate. You can give me a... Okay, it's not blowing up for some reason. We can die. There you go. Get a load of this as well. Why the fudge not? Lovely jubbly. Now, something I didn't do, though, while I was on the planet is go and get all the shards. But no worry, I'll do that on the next planet I land on. But for now, I'm just going to shoot this and get a load of resources. Because why the fudge not? It's awesome. Very cool. Get yeah, right. Heading towards the Sentinel Echo coordinates as well, inside of my new Sentinelized ship. I mean, yeah, look at all these bits of wires sticking out all over the place. It is pretty darn freaking sweet, isn't it? Okay, now, I had had tips before. You see it says approximate location. If you press left, I'm not supposed to be looking at that dash panel there or there. And what I'm supposed to be looking at is you see that target where it says there, target 709 U's. We well, can see I'm heading in the right direction. If I get just above this, and then I press left again, boom. You can see there it's now 609. But I'm going to carry on flying past it, and you can see I'm going in the right. Oh no, I'm not going in the right direction. Let's go this way. Let's see. Well, 672. Ah, now I'm going in the right direction. You can see that that's going down. All right. Cool. So as soon as I get to, you know. And pretty much bang onto it, so let's go a little bit faster. 6.30. Oh, looks like a giant worm just jumped out of the ground there. Keep going, keep going. Oh, no, 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 that's going the wrong way now. Right, so I want to go back again. Left. 700 U's now. Oh, for fudge sake. Went too fast. 7.10. Yeah, we're going back down again. So around here is where it started changing. So if I land around here, hopefully this will give me a better shot at where I need to be. Hopefully I'm going to be less than a thousand U's away. Hopefully I'm going to be within 600 U's just here when I jump out and use my sweep scanner. Boom. Yeah, 600 U's away, which isn't too bad. And I bet that's it right there. I bet that's where I've got to go. All right, cool. Um, well, I might as well freaking walk there. Nice one. Oh look, and there's a planet that's got a shed load of these on it. You're going to get lovely, lovely sweet honey from zapping them. Might be able to sell those for lots of units. Nice. Cool. Well, I'll meet you at this this place because I think that's where I've got to go. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so once you arrive, Kate, at this giant archive on Rendezvous Type Area 1 or whatever, if you talk to this chap here, sometimes they sell some components that you need a lot later on. So we need a magnetic resonator, and we also need... So we need that, we need that, we need that. And we also need another item that he doesn't actually sell, which is like those springbok type legs. But if we head on over to this, this uh, galactic trade terminal, check there as well. Because sometimes when you go to buy in here, it offers you different things. So Mino Chamber, no, it's not there. But we can buy that magnetic resonator. And I've just shot a load of those um, honey sort of things, sticky honey. That's going to give me quite a lot of money. Honey money, heck yes, brilliant day. Cool, yeah. So yeah, I can probably buy that magnetic resonator. I've already got one anyway. I purchased one earlier on. So boom, I've got that. Nice. So let's head on up. And let's hit on up the lure. Now, of all the ingredients to make the head, you can just buy at the Colossal Archive the ion battery, micropressors, and the metal plating. Chicka boom! So that's pretty much done. A little bit of a heads up for the head! Okay, chums, when you're inside of the Atlas stations, make sure you take these little balls off the top of these podiums. There's two each time. You're going to get yourself some warp cells. Heck yes, you are. That's going to save you some resource gathering. Heck yes. One other tip, people, you might want to go and mine yourself a load of copper and turn it into chromatic metal and get yourself 100 chromatic metal to make your very first Atlas seed. Okay, chums, I'm by Rendezvous 1 and I've gone inside of the station. I'll show you which side of the station I'm in right now. And when I've gone to buy, I can actually buy the hydraulic wirings and I want two of them. Yeah, you're going to need those for later on. So yeah, this is 
Expedition 1, Rendezvous 1, over there, you can see here where, I, well, where I'm on about, so Phase 1, just there, Pilgrimage 1, that system that it's in, that's the market, that's the marker for it over there, Rendezvous 1, I'm inside of the station, if I just go outside of these doors, I'll show you which side of the station I'm on, where that Galactic Trade Tunnel is, it's on this side, you know, where all the vendors are that sell modules and things, so just in there is where you can get your hydraulics from, there you go. Okay, chums, well, I spotted some wild sentinels. I uh, started shooting them, and it looks like they're sending in more corrupted sentinels, which is good. I've called my ship in close to me just in case I need to take cover, but I'm just using my mining tool. Now that I've got all the sort of upgrades in the multi tool, it seems to be doing enough damage to sort of take them out, so that's all good. The only thing is, is you get one repairing the other, and they sort of get caught in a repair loop. Oi! Flamethrower me, get back! Take that, you! Pop these, you're going to get your shields back, lovely jubbly. And then just as a case of just hanging about really, waiting for the next swarm to come in. Take all these out, hopefully I'm going to be able to kill all these sentinels and get the sentinelized badge. Okay, come on in guys. Coolio, there's a shed load of them there. Zappity zap. Oh, goodbye sentinel. Boom. Yeah, I seem to be doing alright just using my mining laser. Pretty surprised to be honest. Before I waited till I had my neutron cannon on my first sort of playthrough. Oh my days, you freaking bit me. Take this, you. Oh my days. You don't want to get too close to him. He can do a lot of damage quite quickly. Oh no. I've got that little sentinel that's repairing him. For fudge's sake. Get bags. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm in trouble now. Run away. Thanks to those little repairy ones. I'm not quite. I'm not quite there yet, people, am I? Alright, well, let's just jump inside the ship for a second. Cool. Okay, chums, one of your rewards when you're doing the missions is a quad servo. Now, you're going to need that quad servo to so keep hold of it because you've got to create yourself some arms later on inside of the expedition. For whatever reason, it's not coming up with the arms straight away. Uh, there they are. You can see there I need wiring looms as well. I've got to go back into the station, but the quad servo is the main thing that you need for that. So be careful you don't go and use or sell your quad servo inside of the expedition, people. When you're visiting a planet that has water, make sure you dive in. Find one of these icons and grab the crystal sulfide around the edges of this little thingy here. Yeah, you're going to need three of these. If it starts rumbling, sort of get back a little bit from it because it will explode and it can hurt you like that. Okay, that's done a fair bit of damage. Lovely jubbly. I've got all the parts I need to create the body now for my actual little robot dude. Thank you. Ah! No, I don't. I need my magnetized ferrite. That's another thing that you're going to need, people. So, yeah, inside of my uh, little refiner over here, I've got some magnetized ferrite on the go. I need to put in some more normal ferrite. Where are you, ferrite dust? Dilly D, dilly D. Put that in there. Turn that into pure ferrite. Yeah, I'm going to head back to my ship. Anyway, people, there you go. Magnetized ferrite on the bag. See you in a mo. Something to be aware of, chums, when you visit bases. They haven't always got doors or power, and the plants themselves may not have grown. Yeah, so there you go, there's biodomes there. I've got multiplayer off. This should be working, but for whatever reason, I can't actually harvest them. There's no power at this base, and the doors haven't rendered in, so I can't actually go inside of it. So there we are, people. Bases aren't always helpful. Okay, jump. So when you get to this stage, so after you've just be built the legs, brilliant, lovely. I've got my Geo Bay, lovely, cool. Yeah, I, I don't care. I want to show you the expedition page. You can get back to the expedition page. This here, pray to the Atlas to go see the Atlas. When you hit up that mission, you see just below me, right there, that text. You need to read that text. That text tells you to go and speak to Nada first. So what you need to do is select this milestone instead. Boom, that one there that it showed you the little picture of. And then call in the old Nexus. Once I get out the planetary surfaces, I can anyway. Boom, and call in the old Nexus and go and see Nada. Heck yes, I'll show you where Nada is inside of here, people, once I've got inside. Righto, so once you're inside of the Nexus, you are going to be given an icon. So you can't really go too far wrong anyway. But yeah, there we are. I'm going to just fly on up and take a shortcut. Now, if your backpack or jetpack isn't too good, you can just fly on, on top of this cube up here. So fly on top of the cube, the Nexus cube. Stand there for a second. Wait for your jetpack to recharge. And then fly on up again. There we go. And he's just here. Hello there, mate. 
this is the chap you need to talk to. Lovely jobby, chat to him, and then you'll be able to go to the Atlas. Sweet, coolio, boom, thank nada. Lovely jobly. He's going to send me to do some sort of strange um, ritual now, though. So I need to do the ritual first. You need to complete this mission completely. So just follow it. And there we go. Galactic map. So, yeah, there we go. Salute Mondo. Right, okay. Another tip for killing the actual Sentinels and getting your 19. If you've got the cloaking device installed, as soon as your rating goes up to 3, activate your cloaking device, start running away, and your setting will jump back down to 2. Do it again, it goes back down to a 1 star. So you can just keep resetting your sort of, uh, oh fuck, your wanted level, which is pretty darn easy, to be honest. Right, I've got to take out a load of pirates before it's going to let me boost. Anyway, take care. There's another little tip for you. I'll go to the ritual site in a moment. Okay, well, I arrived, Kate. I'd done the actual ritual at this monolith, this lovely purpley type sort of one. It's surrounded by comms balls. It's pretty easy to freaking see. Okay, just boom. Loads of comms balls with political messages in. Fudge and wish we could filter those out. I really do. All comms balls wish we could filter them out. Or at least make it so they don't pop up with messages or something. Right, oh, let's uh, take on off. It sort of breaks the immersion, doesn't it, to be honest. Right, let's take on off. Let's fly on up through the atmosphere. Sometimes they're really funny. But sometimes it's like, well, I play games to escape all of this. You know, to escape reality. Well, this is one of the reasons why I marked down my review of this expedition. It's because you've got to wait 10 minutes for Apollo to do something. Yeah, so I've put the full review up there if you want to go see it. But yeah, I marked it down a bit because of this time gate. Um, but yeah, um, oh, something weird's happened. Um, what the fudge has just happened to my freaking expedition? All right, uh, something strange is happening. There we go. Um, yeah, still got two minutes left. But normally, when you talk to him, he doesn't start telling you to go through a black hole or something. Oh, okay, maybe he does. Well, that's just freaking weird, isn't it? All right, fine. I'm just waiting another two blinking minutes. See you in a second, people. Oh, I wouldn't hit up any of those options, by the way, because if you do, it might upset you finding the next Atlas station. Well, here it goes. We can now talk to Apollo. <laughs> and now you probably won't offer me black holes. Brilliant. Cool. Lovely jobly. Now we go and see our little robot duty friend that's just up here and over this way. Because, yeah, he's now been built -icated. There he is. Hello there, Man Spider. Cool. Let's go speak to Man Spider. Do you like Man Spider? It's a reference to Burnt Face Man. I might have a burnt face, but I can still fight crime. Take that, crime, you shite. That's not crime, it's just a box with crime written on it. There we go. That's a, you get what I mean if you've ever watched uh, Burn Face Man? I guess. Right, uh, that's episode one, by the way, people. I'll put, a, I'll put a link up there. There you go, make it easy for you. Cheers, cool, yeah. Anyhow, I'm going to go talk to this guy, get everything I need, and then I'm pretty close to finishing this now, people. Really, I'm close. And in fact, I might as well just show you how close I am. So you go, let's pop on open the expedition. Chicka pow! Got that. Nice one. Let's give me some stasis to pass this. Nicey, nicey. I mean, I've just got to do that, that, and then I'm on the final phase. Nearly done, people. I'm about two and a half hours in or something like that. Speak to Nada and Polo. Again, fun times. Okay, once you speak to Polo, he will give you this. Make sure you don't delete it. Make sure you don't sell it. Make sure you install a cater. There we go. Boom. There we are. Boom. Boom. Well, you can't sell it or anything like that. Either. Make sure you put it in there. Sweet. Coolio. Okay, when searching for new echoes, what you need to do is rather than go to one that's got a crystal, you'll find one that's got a crystal with an exclamation mark above it. Head towards those, and once you get near, you just need to use your scan button. So just press in the hat stand on the old well, thumbstick, left thumbstick, on the PlayStation. Boom. Oh, okay, not close enough. Dang it, I'm gonna have to wait for my charger to recharge then, I guess. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, charge. I haven't gone to see freaking Nada like it's telling me to in the bottom there. Maybe I have to do that before it'll let me. So if you do get this happen and they don't appear. Oh no, there we go. That's cool. Boom. I thought maybe it bugged out for a second because I'd done it in a different order. But no, it's all good. There's my Echo Seeds. Lovely, lovely Echo Seeds. Is that another Echo Seed there? I think it is. Yes, it is. Boom! Lovely, lovely. Got a load of Echo Seeds. Sweet! But now that everything's unlocked, I might not need to even put in any of those Echo Seeds. 
Okay, here we go. Let's put it in. Boom. Chikapow. Upload Echo Seed. Done, 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 done. Retrieve Echo Collective. Boom. Sweet. We've got the Echo Collective. Nice one, which was just the second option there. Done. Coolios. Sweet. Okay, right. Well, um, let's have a look see then. So, on phase four, I've still got one reward to pop. There we are. Grab that. Nice. And pop that one. Chukapow. Done. Wearfarer's Helm. Grab that. Number five. Sentient Echo. Boom. <laughs> and right oh Commune with the Atlas. Alright, well, we're going to have to go do that then, I suppose. Sweet. Let's go do that. Lovely jubbly. So here we are. Last time talking to the old Atlas. Hopefully. Boom. Done. 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 Yep, visited the final prayer to the Atlas station. Nice. Uh, okay. Give it a little bit of time to pop and catch up with me. A little bit too fast with my menu hopping. I need some more chromatic metal. I'm not a problem. Let's uh, jump on over. Into my exosuit. I should have some copper still left over. Yes, I do. Might as well chuck it all in. Have that on the bake. I think I only need something like 40 odds, so let's just wait till it gets to about that, and then I'll just chuck it out of there. Do 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 Yes, I can. Chikapow. Done. That's going to pop that badge. Nice one. Coolio. Pop that. Sweet. Done. And now I should be able to head back to the old Nexus and go and speak to the phage, or the uh, man spider, and hopefully he's going to be happy as Larry now. We'll go and have a look, shall we? Let's go birth life into the okay, chums, I've got another tip for you. So if you do run the expedition for a second time, you come over to the Atlantid over here, this guy here, and you try to soothe him, and you get given a greyed out option like this. Just go through all of these options. You see it's greyed out, I can't choose the one that I haven't got. If you hit leave, just make sure you've crafted the actual carpus, this thing here, the Atlantid reactor. That's all that you need to create. Create that. Bang! You've got that inside of your inventory space now, people. There it is. Now go and talk to the Atlantid and see if you get a different set of options. See if you can actually craft it. So here we go. Soothe. Go through. And here we go. Yes! Now I can create the Atlantid Reactor. So thank you very much, people who left that inside of my comments. You know who you are. Thank you very much indeed. Now I've crafted that. Boom! Yep, dundily and done. Otherwise, you only get the one option for the Atlas. Sweet, got you. Done. And now I've managed to complete the expedition for a second time. I'll go to the expedition here, and I can go to the final phase. Pop that, bang, lovely jubbly, dundily and done, and lovely jubbly. And now I can pop the final badge. Nice. Now there is one other thing that you can pop at the end of here as well. So if you go on over to phase there, click this there. Done. That's everything claimed. That's everything got. And now I can change the look and feel of my character to the new head. So let's go and do that quickly, people in the view of us. Bum bum da dum bum bum da dum bum bum. Talk to Johnny Five. And collect active edition awards. There you go, there's that one available. So I can now have both on this save. Brilliant. And yeah, so I'm going to run up and I'm going to make myself into a little robot inside of this area at the back here. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's saying that I still haven't collected one of my rewards. Chicka pow, chicka pow, done. Sweet. Interrupt Mondo. Now to change it to the head, you need to be an anomaly. You can change the head. And that's the Crimson Bucket type one that I had before. But there you go, that's the one that I just got. 
So first, first time around I got that one, second time around I got this one, and I've managed to get both. There we are, people. Heck yes! Awesome, lovely jubbly. Right, I'm going to go jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save, and then I'm going to be uploading this. Heck yes, people. Because first of all, because it was all greyed out, because I didn't create that little carpus thingy, whatever it is, I wasn't getting the Atlantid as an option. So I figured that you could only do it the once. So yeah, I'm going to have to go around and delete a few comments that I left on the old Twitterverse now. There we go. Done and dusted, people. So you can run it a second time, people, in the viewerverse. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.